Hi, this video will help us how to properly create real number lines. As we already know, real number lines is a representation of all possible real numbers that we can think of. It extends in both infinities. Onto your right, right side is a positive infinity, and to your left side is a negative infinity. What we all know about the real number line is that uh, the numbers from the centermost value to the right is the increasing values of positive numbers. And from the values to the centermost value to the left are the, in, the increasing values of negativities or towards negative infinity. Let me share to you some practice exercise here. Okay. We, our most common example of real number line is a real number line per multiples of one. What do I mean about multiples of one? Let me start by drawing here a real number line. Uh, let's say a line here. Okay. The common real number line is where at the centermost value is the value or the only real number which is non negative and non positive is zero. Going to the right. Is the positive infinity and to the left is the negative infinity. Again, the common example of a real number line is per multiple of one. In short, each scale here is a multiple of one or has values of per one prefer what per one uh, increase or decrease of values. So think we could actually place here one. Two, three, four, five, and six. And take note that the arrowhead tells us that it goes to the infinity. On the other side, you have negative one, negative two, and then you have negative three, negative four, and a negative five. And the arrowhead tells us that it proceeds to the negative infinity. But we could also create create or recreate our real number line in such a way that it could help us later on determine or illustrate what values or, or the uh, values or the items that we mean. Say for example, in this real number line here by multiples of one, and we are going to plot the value of uh, or locate where is negative 100 you would see that there is no clear value here of negative 100, but you could actually extend this to this side. And since it's multiple of one, you can say negative six and so on and so forth until you reach negative 100. As you can see, this real number line may not be appropriate for that specific situation. So to solve for that, uh, uh, for solve for that um, concern, we can recreate a real number line by means of multiples. Take a look at our uh, practice exercise A here. We have three different situations. We are going to recreate a real number line using the multiples of six for number one, using the multiples of 0 0.30 or 0.3 tenths for number two, and multiples of one half for number three. So let us start. Let me transfer number one here so that we could actually represent this better okay so we are going to use or or uh, uh, make a real number line representing or using multiples of six this would actually help us if we are determining values which are in multiples of six let's say we are locating the value of negative 36 we are locating or plotting the value of 42 we are locating the value of negative 60 instead of using the, the first real number line here or multiples of one we can use multiples of six so how do we do that again the centermost value is the only non-negative and non-positive number positive real number which is zero and then we, we use the same scales here. Okay. Pardon if my scales here are not that straight, but if you are going to make yours, it should be straight so that there would be no more no confusions. Okay. 
So instead of writing one, two, three, because you're asked by you are asked to create a real number line using multiples of six, instead of again using one, two, and three, you could start by using six and then use the multiples of six, 12. Let me make the font smaller. Okay, that is about too small. Okay. Probably just for illustration. And next is 18. Next is 24, followed by 30, and then 36. And of course, it extends to positive infinity. Do not get me wrong. Yes, the, the real number line here is in multiple of six, but it doesn't mean that the values on this real number line are only 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30, and 36. The numbers, which are non-multiples of 6, could still be located here. Say, for example, 5. We can still locate 5 here in an area near to 6. So it's still there because it's a, just a, a real number line. You can locate all real numbers you can think of. How about 32? 32 is somewhere here. So it's still there. It's just that we use the scale for multiples of six because there might be situations later on that will only use or could be represented well or illustrated well using multiples of six. Okay. The one, the other thing that you need to consider is if you're going to use multiples of six on the positive numbers, you need to also use the multiples of six for the negative numbers. Do not say I will use here negative one, negative two. Because we have already used multiples of six for the positive numbers. Okay? Do not use negative two, negative four here, because again, what you use for the positive numbers is the multiples of six. In short, what you will be adding here are the values of negative six, followed by negative 12, and then negative 18, and so on and so forth. Negative 24, negative 30 and negative 36 and again it extends to the negative infinity this is another form of the real number line we just use the multiples of six but again do not get me wrong the rest of the values which are non-multiples of six such as one two three four five the fractions the irrational numbers are still found in this real number line Let's have number two. Number two should use the multiples of three tenths or 0 0.30. So again, at the middle, you will say use the only non-negative and non-positive number. So as you increase the scale here, okay, you may use the values of 0 0.30. 30. Let's make it smaller. Sorry. Okay. While I am adding here the rest of the, the values by point by point three, so just add point three. So that's point nine. Okay. We have one point two. And 1.1, 1 1.5, 1 sorry. Then these are the values, but the rest of the values could still be located here. Right? We will use the same scale, um, same multiples for the negative area. Again, it should be with negative, positive, and negative infinity. So you simply place negative point 30. You could use smaller fonts okay just to illustrate so you you just need to continue plotting all values in multiples of 0.30 it's negative 1.20 negative 1.50 also have negative 1.80. So this is now the real number line. 
using the multiples of 3 tenths or 0 0.030. And for the last real number line, for number 3, we should start with 0. And then we plot the values until positive infinity. And for the other side, to a negative infinity. Okay. So um, another thing, when you look at number 2, it doesn't necessarily mean that if the last number here is 1.5, it should also have the opposite here as the last item. Because it uh, doesn't matter because, again, it extends to both, both infinities. And since I have put a scale here, I should place in a value representing that, that area. So again, to complete, so by one half, so you have here one half. Next, one half plus one half is two halves. Okay, you can do that. But of course, we always uh, advise you to use the simplified form. Two halves is just simply one. And you have three halves, and then four halves, which is two, and then you have here five halves. For a negative side, you have negative one half. So negative two halves is negative one, negative three halves, then negative two, and negative five halves. It doesn't matter now if the values that you have in your real number line are represented in different, uh, with different types of uh, numbers, such as this. We have integers and fractions. Never mind, because all numbers in this line are considered to be real numbers. Fractions, integers, or irrational numbers, they're all considered to be real numbers. So this is how we make our real number line. Again, wha uh, what is the purpose? Let me close this. What is the purpose of emphasizing that we could create a real number line just like those in those situations? The answer? Now, the answer will now be for um, there are some situations that would need a uh, very uh, large values to be plotted in a real number line or very small, just like in number two and number three in terms of that of numbers in decimal notation or in terms of fractions. One thing that you just not forget is you use the same scales when you go to the left and you go to the right. You may use this video as part of your future review. Hopefully you've learned something. Thank you very much. Goodbye.